Hey guys, this is Irie Starcraft, and I'm back to cast another game for you tonight, and this will be a one versus one on Metalopolis, and it is going to be between Bazooka Benji, the Red Terran, and his opponent will be Tool, in all caps, the Blue Zerg. And so, um, yes, I am still sick, I just finished doing that last game, and, um, I probably shouldn't be casting anything right now, but, um, hey, why the hell not? And I've been telling, uh, Bazooka Benji that I'm gonna do some of his games for a while now, and I still have yet to do any, so, um, I'm going to be casting this game of his. It will be a one versus one, which is something I have not done in a long time. I will probably get back to doing some, uh, one, some more one versus ones, um, in the near future, but, um, I've just been so enamored by team games and I've got so many good replays to, to to cast I just am overwhelmed so um, Zuka Benji will be getting a supply depot at 10 and um, setting out that uh, scouting SCV looks like he's actually gonna get a barracks at 10 as well so a very fast racks from Bazooka Benji um, tool it looks like just missed uh, the SCV on the vision so he's gonna be coming up here realizing there is nobody there and going on to the next base and here comes Bazooka Benji's scouting SCV is going to see Tool and see that he is throwing down a uh, spawning pool on 14 and a gas right after that. So um, a pretty standard timing on the spawning pool and gas from Tool. And it should be noted that both players um, are platinum level or pretty high platinum level 1v1 players so this is not a pro game. Um, so if all you can handle is pro 1v1s, then uh, you might want to tune out now, but I think I'm looking forward to this game. Bazooka, Bazooka says it was a good game, so hey, it's going to be a good game. So Tool actually is transferring some drones over to the gas now. It will be a while until he has that um, enough gas to get the speed on his Zerglings, but um, <clears throat> often what players will do, and this is what I do sometimes on Zerg, is you get the gas a little bit later. Uh, so that you're not rushing the speed, but you get the gas later so that you can afford that queen, though he is supply block, so that is going to be, um, that is really going to suck for him. If I were him right now, if I were Tool, I would throw down an extractor or something so that I could start making that queen and then cancel it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I I do suck at Zerg, so don't listen to me. Look how Bazooka is, uh, he's queued up, oh, that's dangerous, running the SCV right through the mineral line that, right there. If Tool's paying attention, he could have taken it out, but queuing up this, um, path on the SCV to continue to scout and if something starts chasing it it won't matter he's got two racks now and he does have that gas going but only one SCV looks like on the gas so far so either marine heavy or he just has just finished that and is not transferring any SCVs over there yet but um <clears throat> actually he's got his three marines on the front of this flight Devo interesting um, about that because they will be uh, vulnerable to these zerglings and so um, he's going to put a couple on the front and a couple in the back. Interesting. Um, maybe to ask him why he's doing that, or I will realize shortly why he's doing that. But he does have one in the back, so is Tool going to come up here and scout? He is going to come up here and see if there are some Marines here. Actually going to not kill any Marines, and these Zerglings... Um, so actually a nice job there by Bazooka. He left the Marines up there knowing that there were scouting Zerglings on the way. He saw it with his SCV, which I think did finally die. But um, he knew there were Zerglings coming in, so <clears throat> he had enough Marines to take them out and left them on the front so that they would be able to get extra shots off. And now Tool is going to be putting his Zerglings out here in the front in the natural position. The Banelings Nest is just now finishing, so we should be seeing some Banelings warping in here. Warping in. Of course I mean morphing in. The speed is done, more Zerglings are on the way, I'm waiting for him to morph in some of these into Banelings. I'm expecting him to try and do a Baneling bust here. Bazooka Benji getting another, a, a fourth Rax coming out, and just now Stimpak is being started on the, um, on the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the tech lab on the barracks. Again, I am so out of it, you guys. I've been so just stressed out and busy and sick and, um, 
So Tool looks like the Bailing bus. Finally, some Bailings are coming out here. A bunch of them actually uh, make it 11 Bailings coming out. So that's quite a lot of Bailings. And this is going to be pretty interesting here. Actually, Bazooka Benji is going to be pushing out at the perfect time. Or no, the wrong time. You better turn around because these Bailings did just finish. And oh no, these Marines are in such big trouble. And he was able to... Oh no, he couldn't close the doorway. Oh, the Bailings and are coming right into the base. And the so SCVs are coming off the line, but the failings could blow up all over the SCVs. The failings need to explode, and so much damage being done right now. Bazooka Benji in a lot of trouble. He just lost a ton of SCVs. These Zerglings are killing a supply depot over here, and now going to run up here and could have killed that Marauder and possibly another Marine or two, but actually decided to double back, and now they are stuck. Need to run into this Marauder, but no, they're going to run over here, and Tool is just sitting here with a couple of Zerglings. So Bazooka Benji actually held off the attack. The problem was he lost a lot of SCVs and even losing some more here as a couple of Zerglings finally, finally are getting taken out. And so Tool with two more Zerglings rallied down here, more and more Zerglings on the way. And it should be noted that Bazooka Benji, this file name that he sent me, it said, it said TVZ, I was so stoned. So... <laughs> Not that that's an excuse for anything, as that he ran out here when I when he first pushed out of this supply depot. I thought that it was going to be. I thought he was going to catch the bailings before they were finished mor uh, morphing in, but no, they were just finishing, and so that was a total blunder on my commentary. But he did pull back. He wasn't able to close the doorway though, and that was bad. If he had been able to close that, most of those bailings would have been wasted on the doorway, and the game might even be over right now because he would be pushing out with a huge army and he wouldn't have lost any SCVs. So the fact that those uh, units were able to run right in the, the lowered supply depot is really the reason Tool is even in this game. And now he has got a ton of Zerglings sitting out here containing Zuka Benji. More Banelings are morphing in now. He's going to do the same thing again. So, um, so yeah, it looks like Tool is sticking with his Baneling bus strategy. These Zerglings, this rally point here is bad because Zuka Benji has got his... his uh, his Marines and Marauders, ooh, a couple of them getting overextended there and getting surrounded though. But these Marines and Marauders here have been just picking off reinforcements as they come in. Here comes the Bailings! A bunch of them are going down, the Supply Depot does go down though, and the Zerglings are going to be running in here. Though there are quite a few Marauders, and I don't know if these Zerglings are going to be able to do much. Bazooka Menji already rebuilding that Supply Depot to keep reinforcements out. And now actually the Zerglings will be taking out all of that army. And now going to be trying to, here comes the SCVs, they are forced to come off to fight, these Marauders need to get in on the action stat. And now that attack will be warded back, so a pretty even match so far. And still look at, T uh, Tool has not even uh, been uh, working on his economy at all, he's been going all in with this bailing bus strategy, not even getting any more gas now, so he can't even make more bailings at this point. And this is a failed, this is a bad idea here, even uh, the bad idea I mean is that these Zerglings are not going to be able to get in here. A bunker is going up from Zuka Benji on this spot right here. Well placed, and once that bunker is down, this strategy is finally going to be null and void. And Tool really needs to think about droning up or taking a tech swap right now because this mass link strategy is not going to work. He needs to start working on gas. He needs to get some new tech. He needs a lair. Um, he needs something because. <coughs> Bazooka will just be able to sit here, and now he is going to be throwing down the command center wisely here um, to get that expansion up. The advantage of Terran, obviously, you can throw your expansion down in your main and then move it later. So that is always pretty awesome and cheap, too, if you're on Terran. Um, <laughs> the mobility of the expansion is quite uh, an advantage, actually. So, <clears throat> this barracks just on the verge of being in flames, but it is not in flames and a tech lab will be going down on this barracks now. The tech lab, very vulnerable to a bailing bus, but we already realized that he has finally taken my advice, and look at this, 10 drones on the way, four tool, 10 drones at the main are on the way, and now an evolution chamber, and he is checking to lair, and he's getting some gas, so all that good stuff, now a ton of drones just popped out. And he's getting two evolution chambers, always a good idea. Um, I usually will get one and then one later. You know what, I'm going to stop telling anything about what I normally do on Zerg, especially because I can. what I normally do on Zerg is get my ass kicked. 